Okay, so let's talk about the difference in control scope tags and program scope tags. Control scope tags are mainly for, if you want to look at up here, up top, these are going to be your, basically your high level tags that are going to be used anywhere in the program and can be and are most widely used for communications with HMI systems. Now, a reason I say that, and it's not limited to but these are controller scope tags it's basically something you want to use globally throughout your whole program so meaning i can use that anywhere in any one of these i want these tasks right here i, I want to use I don't, i'm not restricted to use any you know any of these tags if they're controller scope tags they can be used in any one of these these actual uh tasks right here so just keep that in mind now let's talk about program scope tags Program scope tags are a little bit different. They're only going to be used inside of the program. So inside of instant meaning, they're only going to be utilized inside of like inside of the framework right here. This is going to get actually all these right here, all these tags right here are only going to be used inside of this actual uh, framework program. Now again, when it comes down here to cycle power right here, then they're going to have these right here as in they're only going to be able to be used inside of this one. So you're now you can come in here and actually make some of these a little bit like you can make them global, like you can change them from local to uh, like different parameters and stuff like that. But when it comes down to it, you definitely want to understand the difference between controller scope is more, more of your global tags, right? So you're going to use that anywhere inside of your program and you're going to have more fluent uh, program or easy conductivity to your HMI system. So what do I mean by that? Let me show you another program, the batching system that I have right here. So if we come over here and we look at the batching system, I, I made this batching system. Now I made all of my tags in controller scope. Now every one of my tags I, I made in controller scope. And the reason I did that is so I can have easy accessibility, right? So you see if I look at program scope tags, I have zero program scope tags, not one program scope tag. Okay. And right here I start making program scope tags, but I'm not using these inside of my HMI. So in my HMI, if I come over here and I show you this, so my HMI and my HMI server, I can easily point to my destination. I can point right here. It shows my, my actual processor. And then when I come over here to actually look at some, let's say controller scope tags or um, let's just say this would be right here. If I go to animation, let's just see properties and go to action, you can see that I'm looking directly at my data server. I'm looking at my PLC and then I'm looking at my HMI tag. Now if I wanted to look at that a little closer, I can come over there and look at that a little closer. Let me, let me show you this in a different light. Pull up another one of these that show up a little bit more information. All right, so this one, and we have the, uh, let's just see the header bar up here. All right, so this one right here, let's look at properties real quick. We'll go to properties and show that the actual, we'll get pull up the tags. And you see these tags right here, you can tell data server, and then you'll see right here it says batching and then it'll be online now when i look at online and i look at everything that's online you'll see that i have nothing that's there right now uh, currently but when it comes down to it because i'm not actually online with the processor i don't have any conductivity and if i did have conductivity it would pull up everything okay just keep that in mind um, when it comes to your hmi so what, what i'm trying to show you here is if I had this in a program scope tag, instead of this being this right here, being right here, let me, just, let me pull this up in notepad real quick and then pull that up. Instead of that tag being like that, you would have a program scope in front of it, meaning whatever program you wanted in front of it or whatever program it was being called from. Now, um, in the sake of let's just say the program that we were looking at right here, if I wanted to actually pull up this this right here, I would have to, let's just see, we're in cycle program. We would have to put in cycle program and then the tag itself. 
Now, again, when it comes down to it, this, just to show you the HMI conductivity uh, is a little bit easier when it comes to direct tagging and stuff of that nature. You can see this one right here. Um, again, really, really, really simple. I'm just saying, uh, basically, I'm setting the value of my data server, <clears throat> which my data server is up here. Let's see, let me show you this real quick. My data server is up here. That's my area. Okay, and then I'm coming over here and then I'm looking at my shortcut, which is my shortcut, my PLC shortcut inside of my data server, factory talk links. And then I'm looking at the tag. Okay, so I'm looking directly at that tag. And this tag would be, if I copy this over to my program and look at directly at my program, I can easily come over here to my controller scope, paste this in here, paste it in there, and you can find that tag right there. It's that simple. Now, when it comes down to it, the reason I'm using controller scope tags is because, again, when it, I can use that globally through whatever um, task that I choose to use. Now, there are instances where people use program scope tags for the simple fact, for or the simple task of actually keeping it locally used inside of you know that specific program. Uh, again, down here in mixing right here, <clears throat> I'm using that right here for tank cooling. Um, for process dead time and stuff of that nature if you pull up this this right here You would see that I'm using these are also this would right here be a program scope tag So in this this right here shows you the scope is the mixing tank underscore PIDE Okay Now again when it comes down to it I could have made that something different like this one right here is looking directly at the scope the scope right here is looking directly at the controller scope tag or the, the controller tags. So these are controller. This is a controller tag right here, which is actual uh, actual underscore cooling temp. And this one right here, which is cooling or, or tank cooling, is actually going to be looking at the scope. Is going to be looking at the program scope. Now again, the program scope tag is going to be used locally inside only inside of this program right here which is called mixing tank PID now again that is only only place it can be used uh, when it comes to this actual program now if I wanted to share that I could actually have shared parameters like local parameters I can change some of these things um, and, and again have these utilized a little bit different but in the case of what we're doing just show, this does show you the difference between controller scope which can be used anywhere inside of the program so I can use these anywhere inside of anywhere underneath the task, right? So the task would be any one of these tasks right here. I can utilize it all, all of my tags throughout the whole program. So throughout the whole thing right here, I can utilize all these tags. So that's the reason I choose to use uh, controller scope on some things I do. Sometimes I do, uh, again, utilize the program scope tags, but I wanted to show you the difference between the two. The main difference between the two is you have good conductivity with controller scope tags to your HMI systems and to your third party OPC servers and stuff of that nature. Um, also to keep in mind, you have globally, you can use those controller scope tags anywhere in your program. Now, con program scope tags are going to be utilized only in that program. Can they be used with HMI systems? Yes. Can they be used with uh, OPC servers? Yes, but they're a little bit harder and the string is going to get a lot longer. The path, the conductivity path, when you're looking at the, t the path inside of the HMI system or the OPC server, it's going to be a lot longer. So uh, again, when it comes down to it, the difference between controller scope tags and program scope tags, you need to understand what you're trying, what your what task are you trying to do? Are you trying to keep everything local? Or are you trying to keep everything? Are you trying to have global access? Are you trying to have the uh, flexibility to utilize that throughout the whole PLC code, right? So if you're trying to use that throughout the whole PLC code, it's best to go controller scope. If you're trying to use that locally or just trying to keep it local inside of the program, use com uh, program scope tags. But keep in mind, you're going to have uh, a harder time, you know, setting up the communications between the PLC and the HMI system or the OPC server. Now, there are different reasons for doing that again. So I just want to give you the two major key factors and the differences between controller scope tags and program scope tags inside of Studio 5000 and and um, also R RS Logic 5000. So keep that in mind. This does apply to both of these. So uh, 
With that said, hopefully that was helpful and we'll see you guys on the next one.